Let's wrap up the holiday season. Come on in, welcome to my home. I know a lot of you right now are probably getting ready to put away your Christmas decorations, and I'm saying, whoa, before you go that far, let's wrap up the holiday season by doing something which you probably should have done all along. Take pictures. Take pictures of all your holiday decorations, everything which you really liked, everything which you really didn't like, take pictures of it. Why is this so important? Because one of the things that I found this holiday season is I ran out of time. And having pictures of my holiday decorations, having pictures of, you know, how the house was laid out, that sort of thing, will give me the ability to plan ahead because I, I really need to plan ahead for next year. And it's really sad that I did run out of time when I really shouldn't have. Simply because, well, I, I didn't plan. I didn't plan well. I mean, I didn't think about what really worked beforehand and what didn't work and all those sort of things. But let's really get into it and we'll hit start off with the nitty gritty. Once I've gone through and I've taken all of my pictures, Cool, that's really good. And I've made sure that I wrote down everything that I gave people. That's always good to have. I do like to generally have pictures of the things that I gave people, all of those things. I've labeled all of my pictures, done all of that. Cool, great, wonderful. I also try to write down what people gave me for Christmas, make sure that I have everybody's address from the Christmas cards. Yeah, yeah, that's really good because that also tells me who gave me, sent me Christmas cards from last year. And then I look around and say, hey, what are some of the things that I really did love from this year? And I can tell you that one of the first things that I loved from this year, the, I really, really loved this, was the ability to turn off and on my Christmas lights just by saying, hey Google, Christmas off. Hey Google, Christmas on. That was one of the greatest things because I could have my entire house come on whenever I want it to. And I could also do things like have it set on a timer, that sort of thing. And I did that with just simple plugs that are the wise plugs and they're all plugged in everywhere. It is just a really cool thing that I got to do this holiday season. And I, I really did love that. Oh, one of the things which I did not do this season, and I'm sort of ashamed that I didn't do, I didn't decorate my porch. Uh, I did nothing, and I really should have done my porch, but I, I just didn't have time for it. I was going to do the video about the baking soda uh, decorations, however, the things that I ordered, the cookie cutters that I ordered to make that video, um, yeah didn't come in in time because I didn't plan that out. We are going to talk about planning next year. Uh, in the next video, we're going to talk about planning ahead, but in this video, we're just looking at the things that really, really did work for this year or didn't work for this year. One of the things which I will be honest about, my window garlands, they're dying. They're dying a slow and horrible death. And it's sort of sad because, I mean, I've had them around for quite a while. I mean, they were never my favorite, but next year I'm going to have to get new Christmas garlands and I want to get better Christmas garlands and guess what? I'm putting them on my list right away. So I know that the two windows that I do are my uh, living room window and I do my bedroom window. Those are the two which I really like. I am not going to do my office window simply because I have plants in that window and it just doesn't pay. So those are something that I know that I need to get. Also, I really do like the lights over my uh, kitchen. The lights over those cabinets, I really do like them. I like the garland and everything. So guess what? Those are going to stick around. Now it's the same type of garland which is interesting, but it's not as falling apart as the other ones. And it's also far enough away, and people don't see it as often, that I don't feel the actual need to redo that garland. Yeah. My Christmas trees. Well, my Christmas trees are sort of getting kind of old, but I think they can last me another year or two, so those are not my big priority. The Christmas lights are my priority. One of the things which I've found this year, even though I thought it was really cool to have the cool colored lights, 
I'm sort of over it. I really want to get, at first I thought, well, I want to get the lights that I can change the color and all, and I really don't. I, I don't. I don't think that I would use that for the price that they are. I would love to get the twinkly lights that you can program and all that sort of stuff, but the question becomes, would I actually use them? And the answer is, probably not. I'd probably set it to warm white. I think for inside, the warm white lights would give more of a nice glow and that sort of thing. So that's something I definitely want to do. My lantern that has the flame light bulb in it, love that. I absolutely love that. So I'm going to look into getting a better, actually several better lights like that so that I can then put them in other of the lanterns. Like you can see that one back there. That just has a light in the top of it, which lights it up. I want to get the flame candle light bulbs and have them in my lanterns that are all throughout the house because I just think it just, it just added a nice warm glow to the things. Um, one of the things I do want to get, which is really funny, this year as I've been reading a whole lot more, I'm going to get more blankets so that I can cuddle up and as it's dark and cold and that's the other thing that I want I never even thought about my Christmas reading list I didn't plan on having a Christmas reading list and I wish that I had I wish that I'd created a Christmas reading list so that you could read along with me we could talk about the books that I was reading in fact there are a couple re lists that I wish that I'd done I wish that I'd done a Christmas playlist like a Christmas list that was the music that I'm listening to because I found that I do a lot of, as I'm reading, I'm listening to lo-fi. Yes, I think lo-fi is a really cool thing. Um, but I wish that I had created a Christmas lo-fi playlist that I could have shared with you. And I should have. It just, time just got away from me. And that's the thing that I want to think about, about making sure that that doesn't happen next year. I want to think about Christmas gifts way earlier than what I did. Yeah, I, I might have waited till the last minute for some of my Christmas gifts, and I'm ashamed, but it, it happens. Now, when it comes to baking and making things, I really wish that I had planned that ahead, because I did not make the mead, which is a uh, honey-type ale, until the last minute. I love making mead. I also did this thing, which I haven't even... So, like, some of these things I haven't even had a chance to test, because... They're not done yet. I tried making a whiskey, a cinnamon um, infused whiskey. Don't know how that's turning out. Smells really good. I've been shaking it every day. I uh, haven't tested that out because once again, didn't plan these things out enough. So we're going to plan that out enough and make sure that I do have all those decorations. So I want to really focus in on Christmas for next year so that I have tons and tons of things already prepared before we get to the Christmas holidays and then I mean the thing which I found is while I like Halloween it's not my favorite holiday uh, will I still do holiday Halloween decorations probably the one which I probably will happen is I'll probably start more of my hollow of more of my Christmas decorating just after Halloween, because I really do want to do more decorations outside, and I really should have done that. And by getting new garland, hopefully I'll have garland which can go outside. I would really, really like to have some, like, more live plants. Like, maybe some pine that I can grow inside, maybe fir, maybe, um, poncettas. We'll have to see. But that all has to be planned out because you can't just expect it to happen at the last minute. And I really should have done more Christmas baking. My Christmas baking game this year was none, none whatsoever. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a fruit cake. You're going to get to come along on this fruit cake, but it's going to be a fruit cake that we are going to brandy our fruit or actually I'm thinking I'm going to soak it in rum. We're going to soak the fruit in rum and then make the fruit cake and then soak the fruit cake in rum and we'll have that to have fun with for the next year. Uh, the other thing which I think about is I should have planned my Christmas theme way earlier. Even though Christmas decorations did look nice, while they looked nice, I think I could have done a better theme with it. 
and also gotten a few things because I haven't bought a lot of Christmas decorations or those sort of things for quite a while now. This next year I think I'm going to be either buying or making more Christmas decorations and I gotta plan ahead for that. Uh, let's see what are some of the things that I didn't, that I'm going to do. I do want to have more like plants to help with the theme of Christmas. Maybe not necessarily Christmas plants, but I do love plants. So having plants that will be blooming at Christmas time, that would be really, really nice to add some color in here. And then also having plants that I can like herbs so that I can use those herbs in my Christmas cooking uh, making eggnog, that didn't happen, didn't happen at all. And you're like, well, you don't have to make your eggnog ahead of time. I know, but I didn't plan ahead for, like, any of that. So, yeah, next year I'm going to concentrate way more on Christmas, and then also I'm going to concentrate way more on making things happier, making people happier, bringing a little bit of more happiness to everybody so that that way when you come over or you stop by you will feel that whole you know spirit of Christmas that whole happiness for the holidays I really want to bring that to everybody who comes over so yeah yeah I think that will be nice and I'm also going to look at getting new wreaths because this year I only put the one wreath out but I need to redo that. And I have lots of Christmas decorations to choose from and those sort of things. But with having a theme already chosen before I go into Christmas, having this theme chosen before the year even starts, that gives me an entire year to pick out the things that I want to get for Christmas, pick out the stuff that I have, make sure that I have lists going all the time so that that way I know where I am, where I should be, and what needs to happen. Because as much as we try to believe that people then just magically do their Christmas decorations in a day or two, they really don't. Or if they do, they're spending a ton of time doing that. I, I don't want to do that because one of the big things that I did do this Christmas that I normally don't do, I gave myself weekends off. In fact, I've been giving myself weekends off so that that way I'm not rushed and that's one of the things which made this Christmas a little bit more relaxed and enjoyable simply because I got to relax and enjoy and, and watch Christmas movies that I should have made a, a list of so that that way we could talk about some of my favorite Christmas movies or some of the new ones that came out. That would have been a lot of fun. Well, what about you? What are you going to do different for next Christmas or the Christmas coming? Would it be this Christmas? I don't know. What things are you going to do different? What things did you like about your Christmas this year? And uh, are you going to do Christmas cards? We'll, we'll, we'll talk about all of that in the year to come. But I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a great Christmas and I can't wait to see you again next year. I want to take this time to thank these people who, these are my patrons who help make sure that we have the most festive and happy time around here. Now if you want to become part of that group where we talk about the things which happen on this channel, you get all the videos early. You can join Patreon or you can join the channel members and you get early access to the videos and the behind the scenes of what's going on and it really does keep this channel going because without these people, I don't think I could do this. But I want to thank you. Remember, if you are not subscribed, remember to subscribe. Ring that bell for notifications. That way you know when a new video is coming out. And I hope to get to see you again next time.